Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Asad Yaqub. Assalamu alaikum. This is Shumaila Naja. All right, guys. We are going to take a start with uh, IELTS videos, and uh, it's going to be something good. Shumaila has taken down some notes, so she's going to tell me what to do. Well, I'm going to ask you some questions actually. Okay. Okay. Uh, first question, up se ye hai ki first mean ke isme is video mein main actually yehi question karna chahungi ki ab ye bataye how to attempt one passage in reading. Good question. And Shmaila, you know, this is all about time management. And uh, if you work uh, smart or if you're going to work smartly, it's going to be good for you for mm. all IELTS. Okay, now the first thing is it depends which passage is it. Okay. Uh, let's talk about passage one. Mm -hmm. Ideally, you should spend 15 minutes on passage one. Mm -hmm. And it is possible. I tell you, Shmaila, why? Most of the time in IELTS reading, academic reading, mm -hmm. part one, they give you type A questions. Okay. Type A questions are those questions where questions and answers are in order. order. Okay. So when there are type A questions, only first answer will take some time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you read first question. For example, the two type of questions mm -hmm. are very common. One is uh, true, false, not given. Mm -hmm. Second is sentence completion. Mm -hmm. So if it is sentence completion or true, false, not given, first finding first answer may take more time. Mm -hmm. But once you find one answer or once you found one answer, going on from that point is going to be easier. Mm -hmm. So I suggest you all that first you need to read the title of the passage. Okay. Switch on your imagination that, okay, this passage is about this mm -hmm. and there can be these type of things. And whatever you read, if you're reading a passage about whales, imagine whales, hmm. not uh, uh, people on the beach, okay? If you, <laughs> <laughs> if you have wrong imagination. Like, don't yeah. think too much exactly. actually. Don't yeah, need to they, think too much. Absolutely. <laughs> if they talk about uh, sea, you need to think about ships. Hmm. Not the babes who are there on the sea and you are just going to enjoy and all that stuff. Right? Yeah, now you are Yeah, okay. So that's the thing, right? So whatever you read, you need to visualize. Mm -hmm. Now, part one, when you start with the first question, if it is true, false, not given. Mm -hmm. Shmaila, within the question, in part one, if it is true, false, not given, there is a word or phrase mm -hmm. which is going to decide whether the answer is true, false or not given. This phrase can be majority, minority, mm. most, all, some, few, or, or some other stuff like mm. that, okay? So my detailed videos are already available on that. You can just watch them. Mm -hmm. When it is sentence completion with one word only. So you need to see what is written before that mm -hmm. blank and after that blank. And Shmaila, most commonly, they give the synonyms of the words mm -hmm. which are written before the blank and after the blank. Mm -hmm. And what do the students do? Instead of writing the right answer, they just write that uh, synonym of uh -huh. a word which is written before or after the uh -huh. blank. Uh, now, how to check hmm. whether your answer is correct or not? After writing your answer, read that sentence, read that question again. If the word you have written makes sense, it is the correct answer. Hmm. If the word you've written is nonsense, hmm. then it is not the correct answer. So, if you work like this, then believe you me, I mean, you can do part one in 10 to 12 minutes as well. And practice, because Shumaila, for part three, we need more time. Exactly. I would advise you all to spend 30 minutes on part three. Mm -hmm. But for part one, for God's sake, because it's, it's some students, what do they do? Mm -hmm. They spend all the time on part one mm -hmm. and two. And then they have nothing for part three, right? So it's just like uh, that. You have three girlfriends and you have to give them proper time. The first one is easy going. One is the part one is easy going. Mm -hmm. The second one is a little cranky. Mm -hmm. And the third one is it's most your wife. Cr <laughs> oh, wow. most cranky. Exactly, one. <laughs> exactly. Kurita bahut jind jaan nikli bhai. Acha mera question bhi ek hai. What? Thoda sa hat ke like uh, as you mentioned that ke we have to solve uh, part one in yes. 15 minutes. Yes, Thik exactly. Hai? Lekin uh, mera question ye hai ke uh, aapne ye bhi mention kiya ke a type of questions jo hai like ke jinke order mein answer yes, hai. Yes, yes. To aisa possible hai ke part one ke andar b type, b -type question, question yes, aa jaye. Yes, it is possible. To tab bhi humne sec yeah. section one hi jo hai wo karna pehle. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. You know, you're going to do reading section by section. Mm -hmm. Isse pehle ek Punjabi mein jumla bol do badi jor se aaya. Mm -hmm. Jawani aai nahi, jawani handai. 
ਸਮਥਿੰਗ <laughs> 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 which paragraph contains the following hmm. information most of the time they give you type a questions okay. but sometimes if the test is unusual they may give you these questions like which mm-hmm. paragraph contains the following information in that case you will do type a questions first mm-hmm. because type a questions will make you familiar with the passage mm. once you are familiar with the passage i mean once you know a little about the passage then you can know extensively mm. about that so then mm. you can do part 2 mm. okay a uh, type 2 questions mm. so as per my advice for reading part 1 you should spend around 12 to 13 minutes work fast work smart identify the type of questions mm. go to the right parts of the passage and smile one more thing the first five questions guys first five first six first seven questions usually the answers are in first second and third paragraph uh-huh. sometimes when i solve ielts reading test i solve them myself hmm. as well in first paragraph i find four to five answers okay. so if you find four hmm. to five answers in one paragraph then why can't you do it all in 10 to 12 minutes so hmm. when you practice make it a habit that you need to leave section 1 after 12 13 or maximum 15 minutes so that you have more time for other sections hmm. all the best but i liked your example of wife ye yeah, reading <laughs> passage 1 is dil pe lagi hai reading passage 1 is actually a uh, easy going <laughs> girlfriend <laughs> reading passage 2 is a bit cranky girlfriend and reading passage 3 is like your wife you know my colleague yasin when he got married right after that the first week of his marriage he was upset hmm. he came to me and he said sir i got married recently i'm upset i said hmm. what happened yasin said sir my wife is demanding 1000 rupees every day hmm. and i said oh my god that's too much then he asked him what does she do with 1000 rupees she takes from you every day hmm. and yasin said i never gave her <laughs> 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 why Jump complaining? Nice. Yeah, why <laughs> complaining? So my friend Yasin is so good. Yeah. All the best guys. I <laughs> also teach IELTS online all over the world and on campus in Lahore. If you want to be the part of my online or on campus IELTS classes, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that. By the way, this is Madhyan Hotel hmm. in Madhyan Valley, which is the part of Sawat. Sawat is in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Pakistan. So we're making all these videos from this beautiful Madhyan Hotel. All the best guys. Thank you. Take care. Allah Hafiz.